In search of something good to read? USA Today's Barbara Vandenborough scopes out the shelves for this week's hottest new book releases. All books are on sale September 14th. By Colson Whitehead, Doubleday, Fiction. The two-time Pulitzer Prize-winning author of The Underground Railroad and The Nickel Boys returns with an entertaining heist novel and family saga set in 1960s Harlem. Whitehead has had an unrivaled recent run as an author, says A, out of four, review for USA Today. By Gabrielle Union, Day Street, Nonfiction. In her follow-up to We're Going to Need More Wine, Union catches us up on her life since 2017 with insights on her fertility journey, becoming a mom, her marriage to Dwayne Wade, her fight for equality and accountability in the entertainment industry and so much more. You got anything stronger? Is me at my most vulnerable, Union writes. I have recently found true strength in that vulnerability, and I want to share that power with you here, through this book. Rick Ross dishes on Kanye West, explains hustling in new book The Perfect Day to Boss Up. By Tuang La Elston, Rand Smith, Fiction. USA Today's La Elston, who left Vietnam as a child before the fall of Saigon, pens a sweeping historical tale inspired by four grandmothers, the authors and her husbands, and explores parenting, aging and gender roles in a multicultural family. To Anla Elston's writing is eloquent. These grandmothers' voices from the grave teach the living how to gain compassion and insight, says author Lily Hayslop. By Dorana Burke, Flat Iron, Nonfiction. The activist and founder behind the hashtag MeToo movement shares the story of how she came to say those two powerful words and spearhead a major 21st century cultural shift. An unforgettable page turner of a life story rendered with endless grace and grit, says a starred review from Kirkus Reviews. By Leanne Moriarty, Henry Holt and Company, Fiction. From the best selling author of Big Little Lies and Nine Perfect Strangers comes a twisty new story. When Joy Delaney goes missing, her four grown children debate what to tell the police, their father is the most obvious suspect, after all. Funny, sad, astute, occasionally creepy, and slyly irresistible, says a starred review from Kirkus Reviews. A rebel nun transfixes in Lauren Groff's medieval masterpiece Matrix, 